everyone. We're here with Simon Phillips, the legendary drummer. He's <laughs> finally here in Pakistan now, yep. and we're driving to the hotel. Uh, and we'll just soon reach the hotel, and let's see what happens. So, Simon, how was the flight? Um, they were both great. They were both great. I mean, the first one's really long. It's 16, yeah. 16 hours. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> How this idea of uh, bringing you to Pakistan came yeah. to my head was that I follow Warren Hoort a lot. Warren Hoort? Oh, oh like, yes, yes. Yeah. So I ah. saw his interview with you and I was right. like, man, Simon is not just a drummer. He's actually, you yeah. know, <laughs> somebody that we could learn from and you right. know get a lot of insight from because of your experience with so many amazing artists and yeah. you know, the people yeah. you've played with and I've been a fan of Toto's music for like you know the first time I heard Toto's music I was like oh man right, right. <laughs> this is brilliant stuff yeah. but I think I heard the initial stuff that I heard was Jeff Pocaro on the drums it would have been yes yes yeah. and yeah. then I think I heard uh, Kingdom of Desire yeah. When I heard that album, was that you? No, that was uh, Jeff's the, last album. Yeah, that was his yeah. last album. But it was but, it was tra it was a change stylistically for them. It was much more rock and roll. It was very and, rock and roll, yeah. and and that's probably the reason why I liked it so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, Bob Clay Mountain uh, mixed it. And wow, it what a good. sound! So, that that yeah. sound was so oh, phenomenal. Yeah. The drum sound, I was like, whoa! Yeah, <laughs> this is what we need to, you know, exactly be yeah. able to do here. Yeah, so, yeah. I've actually been writing it for a while, oh, wow. but um, but still a long way to go. But yeah, I thought it would be a good thing to do. Wow, awesome! Point. Yeah, I mean, obviously yeah. you have you have tons of stories to tell, I'm sure, and and yeah. some and from a different angle too. Sorry, let me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah um, different angles, you know. Wow, that's amazing. Cool. Yeah. That's amazing. I met Brian just after he had made his first album. And wow. nobody knew who he was. Really? Isn't that funny? <laughs> but I, I was doing a record up at Little Mountain Studios in Vancouver right. with a quite a well-known um, um, Canadian band. Right. And uh, he had just finished his record, and Bob Clou Clear Mountain was up there. Right. Um, and it was uh, yeah. I mean, we, nobody knew who he was, so you know, I just knew him as this little guy called Brian who plays guitar what? and sings. <laughs> And, it was great. and look at look we, at what happened to it. I know it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. It really uh, is. Yeah, music is such a thing. Like um, it's yeah. It's, uh...